welcome to my videos so guys today in this video we are going to walk through how to apply an e-visa or you can say a tourist online tourist visa to albania step by step before i proceed further i would like to clarify neither i am an immigration consultant nor i am a government body so if you take anything out of this video you do it at your own risk all right guys so let's proceed so guys e-visas are becoming very popular with the ease of convenience in applying processing and the way it is widely used and it is also boosting tourism no doubt so it's good that albania has also started this system so in front of you i have opened official republic of albania e visa application system site the very first thing you should do is to register right so if you go to register you need to provide your name nationality email and password i have already done through that step so i don't have to again and you see this is just three steps apply fill out application verify payment and then result okay so uh, when you are ready click on apply now okay now here you see what the uh, uh, what are the things you are applying you are applying from uh, electronic visa and let's say you are going for short visit then you are gonna see tourism okay let's say you're going for tourism you can see what are the conditions it is allowing you to and what are the documents you need okay it has been listed here so this will definitely now the certain people are not required to have a visa uh, to visit albania inter and stay for up to 90 days in 180 days like if you have, if you have a valid multiple entry schengen visa which is previously used or who have valid work permit to stay in one of the schengen state then you don't need a visa for to albania for this much duration if you are valid multiple into us or uk visa which will really be used don't need okay 10 year residence for issued by a company of uae you can read this so you may not even need it like a lot of you of course not all and then once you are ready you can click on apply it is asking you to sign in okay and uh, i'm gonna sign in and then i'm gonna take you further and as i said the, if you have not already signed in by here now i mean if you have not created the account you're going to click on register and create so i'll see you in a while okay guys so after i signed in here i have gone you can see personal information okay it has asked to submit so per, so country of place of residence where you so let's say you're applying from india so you will put india here consular office so based on your location this is what they have asked so i will tell it this family name earlier family name this is not mandatory first name date of birth just sample guys passport number personal id passport number if empty so just sample guys place and country of birth whatever is applicable in your case you can check your passport to be consistent and don't do any mistake i mean verify your application a lot of people do minor mistakes and later struggle so don't do original nationality nationality at birth you need to answer as per your case residence permit i said it no mother's name this is not i mean uh, mandatory but if you but no harm in providing like when i fill any application i provide the details but it's up to you okay now passport passport type i just put this one passport number sample guys authority official you can check in this your passport make sure it matches especially dates i see a lot of people struggling just because they put wrong dates don't do that be careful validity 
I don't know why they have given this question validity, but I just put yes. Okay, main destination, individual visa, yes, visa type C, purpose of travel, tourism, date of arrival. So let's say we are going in June 23. Date of departure, let's say you are going on July 31st. Number of uh, entries requested. I said select one, but if you have more, you can. Th duration of the 31st and 7, uh, 38. Okay. Oh, so maximum 30 days they have allowed in this e visa. So I need to adjust accordingly. I'll put, uh, all right. Means of transport. Air. Order of first entry, where are you entering? I select this current occupation, IT engineer. Entry permit in the final country, yes. Authority of issue. Other visas during past three other visas issued during. If you have, you provide the information. If you don't have, you can do none. Family member, applicant family member, spouse information, I leave blank, children, I leave blank. Percent of elementary resident, you depend upon only by family members. So again, this is not mandatory, but if applicable, provide host information. Host, person, company, institution, organization. Name. So I'm just, let's say, uh, best hotel. Just sample, guys. All right, so like the uh, you need to provide information, host name and other details, contact. Insurance means of support during your stay. Who's paying for your cost? Is supply, personal number of host, okay, full address. So that information, address and contact, okay. And then finally, you're gonna upload documents that we had seen earlier. And then when you go to the next, you can submit and uh, pay the fee. And from there, it's gonna take further. So that's how it works, guys. And if granted, you can travel. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.